Yeah, Jessica, good evening to you. The few things we've been seeing most since Election Day, on the one hand, you got Democrats who are celebrating as Joe Biden is expected to be the next president of the United States. But on the other, we're seeing a host of lawsuits being filed by the Trump administration. This election is not over. Far from it. We have only begun the process of obtaining an accurate, honest vote count. The vote count so far projects Democratic nominee Joe Biden to become the next president. But the Trump administration is far from conceding, according to White House Press Secretary Kaylee McEnany. She says the campaign is pushing forward on the alleged compromise of election integrity. We want maximum transparency. We want every legal vote to be counted, and we want every illegal vote to be discarded. Several local Kern County Republican politicians echo those statements as the administration's lawsuits penned in several key states, including Pennsylvania, Georgia, Michigan, Nevada, and Arizona. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy standing behind Trump on Fox News Sunday. Well, what we need in the presidential race is to make sure every legal vote is counted, every recount is completed, and and every legal challenge should be heard then and only then that America will decide who won the race. Republican Assembly member Vince Fung following suit. Let's have every legal vote counted. Let's let the process play out. Let's let all the legal challenges and, and all the investigations occur. Republican Senator Shannon Grove tweeted her support for Trump in recent days, saying in part, no one will fight harder for America than Donald Trump. Every legal vote needs to be counted and every illegal vote thrown out. And that means that you're a reliable, trustworthy Republican. 23 ABC political contributor Alan Bowler says the Republican backing for the president is for the most part going to remain steady as several Republican constituents are at play. So I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not surprised that Republicans yet are, st are sticking with, with Donald Trump. He's still the leader of the party and it would be most likely be a costly political decision for them to break with him. And Bowler would go on to say that many of the lawsuits filed by the Trump administration is likely to be heard by a judge. But Bowler says if there isn't any tangible evidence to prove any compromise of election integrity, it's probably not going to stick. We're live in downtown by Wang, 23ABC, connecting you.